Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another RenderMan tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to set up render layers uh, to associate with lights in RenderMan and Maya. Uh, this can be a little bit finicky, so make sure you're following these steps exactly when you want to set up these light overrides. Render layers are used when you want to have, say for some example, something in the foreground rendered separately from something in the background, and you want to be able to isolate the lights for those two individual uh, parts of the scene and render them separately. So for example, you might have a character on the floor here in the mid in the foreground animated and you want a background that is not animated um, to be just rendered one for one single frame and this is how you would do it. So we're going to create a render layer by selecting the render layers icon here at the top and we'll bring in our geometry just for the left hand objects only. So that is going to be our cube and our floor. Then we're going to cl click the plus icon here and we'll Call this layer left and we'll create a new collection. I'm just going to call it collection one. And then with either of those selected in the viewport or in the outliner, we can add them into that collection. So now when we click the eye icon, you'll see that they're the only things visible, except both lights are currently visible. So the problem with that is if we run an IPR, you'll see that both lights are currently on in the scene, and we don't want that. So to override them, what we're going to do is we're going to select the left render layer and ensure that you don't have this selected or this selected, it's just this. And we're gonna select the right light. And then under the attribute editor for the light, I'm gonna right click on the intensity and I'm gonna create a create absolute override for visible layer. And then this will create an override. You'll see that it turns orange. And what we can do now is we can enable these, uh, these uh, two different layers and then we can adjust the intensity down to zero. So now when we run an IPR, you'll see that that left hand side is isolated. So now if we want to create a further render layer for the right hand side, we'll call this one right. And we'll just need to go back to our top level or beauty layer for our render. Select those two right hand side objects. We'll right click here, create a collection again, and I'm just going to call that collection two. Add those in. And then I'm just going to ensure that I've only got this selected. I'm even going to turn off the render icon and make sure that it is on the eye icon for the right hand side. And again, I'm going to select the opposite light. I'm going to right click intensity and create absolute override. We could actually create a relative override if you want. For example, if you wanted it to be at half the value for the other, uh, for the other layer, but I'm just going to use absolute overrides for this. So then we can enable those and set this down to zero. And then you'll see that our right hand light in this layer is set to 65. Whereas if we go to the left hand layer, it is set to zero. So now when we render this, you'll see that the right hand side is isolated. And finally, when you're ready to do your batch render, all you need to do is select the clapperboard for each layer that you want enabled, including if you wish the beauty layer which will include all lights in the scene and then you just need to batch render as normal if you don't know how to batch render make sure you check out our tutorial on that as well render layers may be the option that you want to use here if you're trying to isolate lights also something you may want to look into is lpes or light path expressions which is a function that's built into renderman natively we have a tutorial here on youtube already for it um, it's slightly more advanced to deal with though but it does give you a lot more control over your light. So make sure you check that out. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.